Welcome everyone, we are going live with Chrono Arc. Now if you watched our latest video, you will know that this is the game that I've been looking forward to. So, we're not going to spend too much time talking about it before we hop right in. This is another post-apocalyptic deck building game. They seem to be popular, but this has a whole lot more to it. I fiddled around with it a little. Are you scared? You have nothing to worry about, Lucy. Whatever happens in this place... Lucy, whatever you go through, you'll be safe. It will not be long until the world stabilizes. Soon will we, see, we will see each other. Sleep tight, my daughter. But this is so much more than your average deck builder. This has RPG elements. This has party building story elements. This is basically Wildermyth meets uh, JRPG in full. There is no record found. So here we're going to go out and we pick our two starting characters. Now these are all the characters we have to start. We have Hain, a DPS. Joey, a healer. Miss Chain, a tank. Azar, a DPS. And Leon, a tank. Now I really liked playing with Leon before. Plus she reminds me of Red from the... Uh, what is it called? The Night of the Full Moon games. So we're going to select her. And then I'm not sure who else to choose. I kind of like the idea of a chemist. So let's go ahead and choose that. All right. I'm ready to go down to the Twisted Land. Now, if you watch the opening bit, which we didn't hear. This is a first look at the actual gameplay. Then... There's a lot of story going on about that clock tower you saw in the distance. But here we're going to see major gameplay. And we have randomly generated maps. Alright, and here we have our enemies. And these counters and these diamonds will indicate how many actions I can take that are not swift actions before the enemy strikes back. So it's not quite turn-based, but more... Uh, countdown based on what I actually do. Early on, there's not much I can do other than their base. But as we level them up, and the characters do level up, then that will change. Here you see our mana. We start off with three mana. We get a character ability. We can actually reduce the mana cost of a single card. And the cards are up here. We have character abilities down here. And these are pretty much stable every time. But these are the cards. And I call them cards. They don't really look like cards. They're more abilities that pop up. Call them cards. They don't really look like cards. They're more abilities that pop up. Okay. So we got our soul stone. This is what we're going to be using to level up. A magic book is open in the middle of the library. Okay, we can enchant a piece of equipment. I don't think we can enchant this. This is our basically one free resurrection. So we'll come back here with equipment. But we do have soul stones and we can level up. I'm going to level up Leon. And as she levels up, she's going to get parry. Parry says that when she... Or when someone is attacked, she'll basically attack back at a portion. Uh, let's go ahead and choose to level her up for two soul stones it does protect the healing gauge and counter will deal 33% reduced damage and have 15% increased critical strike chance so there's that let's go ahead and confirm now when we level up we get random abilities and if you followed our wilder myth this because this is going to seem really familiar um, and they're basically each character is their very own unique class and this represents a card that we're adding we'll have a chance to draw this card on our turn so we could get the same ability twice but it represents the card so we have a large amount of damage with drop down slash we have blade work i think this is new for me damage that is amplified instead of reduced when casting grand reflex okay and this is our taunt ability i really like come at me and I may choose it a second time. I'm going to choose it a second time. We're going to completely lean into her ability to tank. 
Now we'll get more characters. Um, we get characters in between boss fights. But let's keep this up. All right. Oh. Oh, and it's not even guarded. This place is going to have a treasure chest. If you look at the mini-map, when we're out on the main map... You're going to see that we have icons that are going to appear, and they can tell us what's going on. This is really, from what I can tell, just a teleport icon, because if we open up our map, we can teleport to any place there is. To the east of this is always going to be a boss in this first level I found. There's that purple symbol representing a boss. And things will change. The map will change. This first level is really just an introductory. Okay, so we looted some bread. And bread's used to heal in between battles. Alright, and that is all, except that we now have a piece of equipment. We can go back to the library and adjust. Okay. We don't quite know what that does yet. We need to get it identified. And I think that is all we can do here. So I'll teleport on the map. Oh, there's a grayed out area. Let's see if an icon reveals itself. Oh, yep, here's a battle. Let's take another look at this. Okay, so you see come at me here, and we'll taunt, it taunts them, they're forced to attack her, she'll get, she'll generate two random attacks, and then her parry ability will go off, and it really is quite a nice ability, and you'll see I don't have enough mana to cast that at all, but parry, when that goes off, will cause it to um, use random attacks still in our hand. We definitely want to heal. So that's going to take one. And then basic attack to finish it off. Alright, and what do we have down here? Something useful, a scroll. And I think that's all. We have enough to level up our other character, Joey. So let's go ahead and do that. Joey gets the potion analysis, so all of our potions will automatically be identified now. Healing Vapor will heal all allies. Healing Potion will heal a single ally. And then Chemical Substance will do damage over time. Now he's our healer. Protecting Gas, all allies, blocks a debuff. Okay. Oh, tough choices, but I think I'll go with another he heal ability. So right now we're really sticking through with our... Um, what is it? I lost my train of thought. Our rolls. Tank and healer. Alright. So we have parry. Ooh, what does that do? Burly shield. Now, when you first play this, Cerberus is always going to be here. But as you defeat bosses, new bosses can come in. So blocks one attack with damage. Okay, so we want to make sure we start with our basic attack. And follow up with that. We'll go ahead and end our turn. Okay, so... Get regeneration going. Come at me going. Get their parry, get our taunt. And a couple of abilities we cannot afford. Oh, block is... Uh, yeah, that's not going to work with his constant shielding. Oh, dear. See, blade work, exclude. Damage is amplified. All right. And then let's actually reduce come at me. And that's our character ability here. Our little girl 
that we're playing as has the ability to gain um, things that will affect us too. And she starts off with the ability to reduce the mana cost of one card. Okay, beautiful. And we resisted CC. Okay, so we're going to want to cast another Healing Vapor. And that's going to be it for this turn. Yeah, this boss, I probably should have had some sort of DPS. This is going to be a little slow going, I think. Now, you'll notice that the basic attack is now two on here and one on here. That's because when we use basic attack or any ability on a character, the rest of the abilities used by that character become overloaded, which means that that character's next card they play in the same turn is going to cost more. But it did not affect her. So we still have the option of playing that. And we have a basic heal we can apply. Let's go ahead and end our turn here. Now if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe if you like this kind of content, want to see more of it. Ask any questions in the chat, we'll be happy to answer you. Or if you're watching this after we've gone live, then leave comments below. I do typically respond to my comments, so keep that up. Alright, Perry's back. We want to heal. Heal again. And that's really all that I'm going to do that turn. Okay. So this come at me cost zero. I wonder if this will stack. Will we get a... Yes, it does stack. All right, so now we're healing six per turn. And you know what? Let's come at me again. Okay, we dodged that. But we need to start dropping his shield normally. So we'll use him to basic attack. Not much else we can do, but follow it up with the second attack. Yeah, this boss fight is taking a lot longer than Cerberus. Alright, a character will faint if they receive additional damage at death's door. Recover. Alright, so she's down. This is not going well. So she's going to faint and go completely down. Lucy, did you get stuck in it? Okay, irrever <laughs> irreversible. Well, don't worry though. So this is the first time I've actually lost. This is all new. Just embrace destiny. This is not the end anyways. And, well, we're going to continue. And will that do it? Yeah, that's going to do it. So I've lost a character. And that's alright. I wonder if we'll heal at the campsite. That's a good idea to check. So here we are at the campsite, and if this is your first time running through anything, just like that tutorial popped up, it's going to pop up a tutorial, so if you're new to this, then, ooh, okay, so she did heal, use a camping item, and that'll be enough, we're going to request rescue, so we have a couple of characters, we're missing a DPS, and Azar doesn't get nervous. Let's see. Yeah, you know, I'm going to go with Azar. Then we will end this first part and go on to the next area. Hmm. Really don't know what this is for. We have a cursed mask. Okay, that's odd. 
But we're going to go on. And we're going to see a little bit more of this game. Now, before when I tested it out, I only was really exploring that first area so that I could get kind of a basis to explain what was going on. Feel comfortable explaining everything. But now, we're in uncharted territory. Okay, we don't have any equipment or relics that we want to reforge just yet. So we're going to keep going. And as we explore, I imagine we're going to keep getting these events. Eventually we'll get to an area too difficult for us to proceed. And that's supposedly where the roguelike or roguelite content comes in. Let's see. Come at me. She'll still tank for us. Oh, he's going to tank for them. And as you can see, they're... Timers count down. We parry. And we'll take him out, but then he's going to attack. Alright. Let's see. We want to attack one. Ouch. Then that should finish him off. So, we really should be upgrading. I'm going to first make sure we have more mana to support our new characters. I'm going to add a draw skill, and this comes from her abilities, Lucy's abilities. So, discard a random card and draw three skills. Nice. Draw a skill instantly and draw one more card for three turns. Total three draws, including the instant draw. All right. And let's go ahead and level up Azar. Azar. Damage amount 17. Okay, so it's casting. I'm not sure what casting is. Okay, it is cast before the next turn. Damage amount 21. Good accuracy. Gain an additional hollowed sword. Duplicate all hollowed swords in your hand. I think I'm going to go with that before I start duplicating. Although just out and out creating two of them might be nice. And then get a self buff. I imagine the hollowed sword is how he does his DPS. And you have little conversations that are occurring over here on this side. So definitely you can see the RPG aspect. They level up, they gain abilities. But they gain abilities in the form of card games. Some of the best RPGs have been done in, in card format. I can't remember the name. I think it's Batten Cross. Batten, yeah, we're going to say Batten Cross. Um, the GameCube was one of my favorite RPGs. Warm Cup of Tea. Cast Tea Time to the attacker when attacked. Gotcha. Alright, I will start with Come at Me. Parried, and... Oh, he dodged. Now, Swiftness, it ignores several things. It ignores the counters, but it also ignores Taunt. For now, though, I'm going to cast Healing Vapors. And I'll end my turn. Now, we have Double Attack. That's going to come from... Her. Let's see. I have to cast it on someone else. All right. And then Hollow Sword it has swiftness. It ignores taunt. We're gonna see about that. And then we'll do another come at me, and I'm actually going to end my turn without doing an attack. Nice. Gained hollow sword. Very nice. Hollow rally. <laughs>
All right. And you're seeing how, as the characters... Did I miss a treasure chest? I did. You're seeing as how the characters get more skills. They become unique. Oh, it requires the key. Each character becomes very unique in exactly what they provide. In fact, that you're playing with multiple characters at once, you choose how you form your party, and there are lots of characters to choose from. This is in early access, so they're still coming out with new characters. You saw quite a few empty boxes with that. Oh, there's the key, which means I'll just be coming back. You can learn bandage. Hmm. All right, and I get a pick who learns bandage. Um, we'll actually have our DPS learn bandage. So back we go again. <laughs> okay, black spiked armor. Nice. Cannot be unequipped attack and healing power minus one. So it was cursed. I was, I've put on the cursed armor. But honestly, those curses are worth it. Alright, so there's our little teleport stone to the boss. Let's keep exploring. Is this a shop? It looks like it has a shop icon. It is. And so a uh, faceless one is selling to us. We have 1,400 monies. Go ahead and purchase that and leave. Oh, we could buy the key, but I don't really want to. Instead, I'm going to do one more level for Leon. We have Protect Ally, Blade Work, and Relentless Swipe. We're going to go with Protect Ally. I really like her character, and I keep wanting to call her Red. <laughs> oh, and another taunted character. Does she still have Haunted sword or Hollow Sword from before? Yes, she does. Okay, that's interesting. Ow. Okay, we do have Healing Vapor to really heal everyone. see. You know what? We need to come at me. Get that taunt and parry going. I do like the chainsaw girl in her abilities to tank. It's completely different tanking though. We only have the one healer unlocked and there are cer certain things we can do to unlock other characters. I'm not sure if there are other healers. I suspect there probably are. But right now we just have Joey. Okay, another come at me. We'll attack, it gets parried, and wham, dead. And I think we have enough to level up someone. We could get another draw skill. But I'm thinking let's level up Joey. Chemical weapon. How nice. Paralyzing dart. Stun with 125% chance to succeed. That's not bad. Allows him to act as a little bit more of a support character.
Okay. So that's, I guess, world two done. These worlds are short and sweet. And we're on to the next boss, who has curse, cannot be disabled. Add curse skill to your hand. Interesting. Your friends will collapse because of your choice. So we have crucifying curse. If this skill is in your hand at the end of your turn, it's automatically cast on all characters. Ouch. Okay. Oh dear me. Dear me. Okay, let's cast Vapor of Regeneration. And yeah, let's end our turn there. Oh! Yeah? This is not going well. And they're taunted, which means I have to target them. We have agility. We can reduce the cost of one. But really, the only thing that costs anything right now is that. Wow, they have a bunch of health, too. I don't think I'm going to survive this, or I'm missing something. Probably shouldn't stack those in my tank. Hmm. Okay, here's our continuous draw. Paralyzing dart. And she's stunned. As a boss, she can still be just stunned. I am okay with that. Weakening curse. Let's put that on you. We'll bandage you up. And we'll end our turn. Hmm. Yeah, let's put that there. Oh, he's going to attack. Oh, wow, that hurt. That really hurt. Yeah, we'll take him out. And... Oh, that's gonna... Oh, dang it. I forgot to deal with the curse. Come at me. She's barely alive, though. Let's bandage her up. And we'll go ahead and do that. This is not ending well. Oh, dear. Draw. Okay. At least there's that. We can incurse. And these guys are horribly taunted. It's very annoying. Hmm. 
She's down. I think this is it. Basic heal. The vapors. Can I use items? Let's see. You know what? We'll go ahead and paralyzing dart you. I think we can take you out with just the hollow swords. We'll try that. <laughs> Alright, the butler do doll is down, but we still got to take out the witch. And those butler dolls are just going to keep coming back. All right. We have bandage. Go and bandage. We have one left, which means with agility we can bring back resuscitation. All right, and she gained resist CC. Yeah, this is over. If you're leaving because this is over, you're just watching a helpless animal refuse to accept its fate, I understand. We lost our tank. And this is not going well. Oh, and they're back. You know what? Yeah. Unfortunately, we've been stacking weakness on Joey. I'm just going to watch them die now and see what happens. Death's door. Death's door. And we both die. Game of- Oh, I love this screen. I love the text. It's not done yet. At least you can play the game again, right? <laughs> we lasted 31 minutes. Oh, and there's that clicking. So that was the first time I've died. Story scenes will be shown if you meet specific conditions. You can skip them anytime by opening the pause menu. And that is really cool. Of course, that was done with, what was it, Breath of Fire 5? Which many people don't think of as a real Breath of Fire game. But every time you die, it'll show you a new scene. Oh, Lucy with her necklace of resurrection. Blood on her stomach. It feels like I can remember something. The memory is blurred. Hmm. Necklace has disappeared. It should have fallen around here. Find the necklace. Oh, am I not going to get the necklace in future bouts? That would be sad. Of course, it wouldn't be a chrono game if there wasn't a necklace that needed finding, right? <laughs> There's that clock tower. We're going to find out more of the story as the game goes on. Lucy's necklace shows the destination with its light. The light will appear if you click the necklace icon on the top right or Q. The light will disappear when you move. Okay. Ah. Okay. Oh. Somebody fainted. 
He doesn't move an inch despite multiple pokes. Hmm. The necklace keeps glowing. If I use this necklace... I almost died. Oh, phew, thank you for the help. Joey, what? What? Joey? Wait, you're not Joey. But we do know Joey. He was our healer. <laughs> He's a dude with a gas mask. A very arrogant boy. Is this Azar? Azar looks a bit different. By the way, I've never seen an investigation crew like you before. Do you know me by any chance? No. You don't? Aha! Then you must be a new face. I'm... Yeah, it's Azar. I'm losing my face. Nice to meet you. My name is Azar. You must be the investigation team to save us, right? Where there are... Where are the other crew members? Investigation? Crew? I don't know. You don't know? Are you not the crew? Wait, then. You... Who are you? Why are you here? Lucy. I'm Lucy. Except that I can't remember any for anything. Hmm, can't remember. That is really strange. Actually, come to think of it, I've never seen you inside the Ark before. The Ark? Now this goes back to the story. The Ark, when everything started coming alive and t attacking humans on Earth, they built an Ark in space. Oh, that was creepy. And... Go to the Ark. And left. Run the clock tower. Run the little bit. Yeah. Oh. And it said when the clock tower stops ticking, things will go back to the way they were. Wake up, Lucy. Hmm? Are you all right? What's wrong with you? Right after you heard the word arc. Clock tower? Is she not alive? Because she got some programming messages that reminded me of near automata. Or automata. But however you say that. What? Hazar, what is this arc? Tell me. What? You don't know what the arc is? Look up in the sky. You see that? This is the only safe place in this twisted world, the arc. Ah, okay. Are you from the arc, Hazar? Sure I am. I'm shocked that you are from somewhere other than the arc. There's no place safer than the arc. Well, it is dangerous to stay out here. Let's keep moving. I have a colleague who came with me. I need to find them too. I will protect you until then. Okay. Hmm. This way, nope. This way should be the right way. Oh, don't worry. It's a bit complicated here. I'll find this for you. Follow me. Not that way. We need to go this way. Wait, where are you suddenly going? Okay, so we have Azar back. Now, we talked about this being just a first look, and it is. So, I think this is a great place to end it. I hope that you've enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of it. If you enjoyed this, then why don't you let me know in the comments if you plan to pick it up. That would be great to know. In the meantime, I am Nidinoski. As always, have fun.